Thank you. Well, I feel like um, you know the world really changed between season one and season two, and there's, there's you know we've all felt the earthquake beneath our feet in terms of politics, and, and certainly uh, in terms of the CIA and uh, their presence in Berlin, that's really that's really shifted. So the agenda has changed, the menu is different for, for these guys, and they are very much focused on keeping balance in the country that they're serving, and at the same time holding on to their patriotism. Mm -hmm. And now as an actor, is it harder, do you find it harder or easier to go and do something where the subject matter might not necessarily be something you agree with? It's the biggest question I, I faced and you know it, there were many times in the season when I, I felt like my own personal opinion, I wanted it to, to kind of channel through Daniel and yeah. I wanted to, to express that through the dialogue that I was, that I was given and, and um, the subject matter. What, what happens is that I felt like that was how the character feels. Like I th yeah. feel like he has his personal opinion, and then he has the public party line that he has to toe in terms of yeah. the administration and CIA. So, um, but that in itself becomes an interesting kind of internal drama. Right. I was able to watch the first episode of the season, and you can see his internal struggle. A lot of times, trying to That's why. We're well, Daniel has to go into deep cover in the neo-Nazi movement and and exhibit himself as a racist, and that was tough. That's yeah. tough. You know what? There was one day we were doing pickups from for season one, and we came out of the of the main station, at the um, the Hauptbahnhof, and we were shooting um, a protest march oh, wow. against mm -hmm. the the far right, and there was a police presence there, and I thought, oh, is this our, is this are these actors? Is this set? Yeah. And actually, it wasn't. There was a real march coming. 30 seconds later and I, I felt like well you couldn't be more on topic than, than at that moment it was the same moment when the G20 was happening in Hamburg and there were these riots on the streets so we couldn't have been in a more kind of electrifying place really right. oh my goodness now because we are a TV music network here from the music questions um, is there an artist that you like that you listen to uh, to be honest during the filming of Berlin Station I listened to quite a lot of Bowie because he features quite heavily in, in our soundtrack I don't know how we managed to get <laughs> Wow, get the great. rights to, to the music or how they paid for it but great. but yeah I did I, I, I really enjoyed that process so uh -huh. uh, yeah oh, cool. another uh, like spotlight question for you I know you do a lot of uh, traveling so you're on airplanes a lot yeah what, is there, what do you do to pass the time when you're flying um, I, I, I like reading with paper, so uh -huh. I, I, I don't watch movies and I don't, uh, sometimes I read a script, but I yeah. like to have it in paper form. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank Congratulations you. Congratulations on that. That sounds so kind of futuristic, <laughs> doesn't it? Reading with yeah, paper. I know. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That is futuristic these days, huh? It is. Thank you. It's nice to talk to you. Nice to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you.